welcome back to my channel, Drunk Crafts with Paige. I am Paige, and this week I am still drinking cider, but this week it's in a can. <laughs> it doesn't make any difference. Now, I really hope you guys aren't like totally over and done with Christmas things. We are not doing a Christmas present this week. I promised we were done with those. But the week of Christmas, we did a live stream. We did it on my Facebook because of YouTube restrictions, but we were able to make some really cool resin and some wood ornaments. So here are our wood ones, and we just did acrylic pours on them. We did a Dutch pour, and we did some swipes, and they just turned out so beautifully. So we have the beautiful paint on one side of these, however, the other side is still blank. My plan is to take some of these photos that I have already cut out of us and of my kitties, and we are going to be putting them on the opposite side and we're going to seal them in resin. So in the end, we're gonna end up with some double-sided ornaments that are totally coated in resin for our tree next year. If you would like to see how these ornaments turn out, please stick around. Technically, I already did the first few steps for us. I went ahead and painted the backs of these white just to kind of match the base that is on the other side with the acrylic pour. And I also went and printed out my pictures and cut them according to size and how I want them to fit on each ornament. Once I landed on a location for the photo, I went ahead and added some extra stuff like a name and a year, totally customizable to you and how you want your ornament to look like. So now we're gonna get on to actually putting the pictures onto the ornaments. Getting these photos to stay on our ornaments is as easy as glue. We are just gonna be using some regular Mod Podge. I have gloss, you could use matte if you so feel like it. And we're just gonna put a healthy amount on each of these in order to adhere our pictures to the ornaments so they're not gonna go anywhere when we go ahead and seal them. My pictures are glued down and the glue underneath is dry these photos aren't going anywhere so I'm gonna take the same Mod Podge and I'm just gonna coat all of these ornaments with it the entire ornament including the picture and I'm gonna be very mindful of going around the edge because we want to seal these photos we want the glue to basically be a nice protectant so our photo doesn't get messed up when we do our resin coat I'm gonna do several layers of this Mod Podge and every time, like I said, I'm gonna be very careful and conscientious of the edges, making sure everything gets sealed really well. down a total of three coats of Mod Podge on each of these ornaments. They were light layers, but all of these should be nice and sealed now. The corners of the photos aren't sticking up, and I can see with the glue that they are well sealed, so no resin, hopefully, no resin is going to leak under those. I have also preemptively taped them up to protect the other side and we're just gonna get to adding the resin. After I resined over our one side of the ornament that had our sealed photo, I did go and flip all of these over and I resined the opposite side that had our acrylic pour. So now all of these are double resined <laughs> and unfortunately even though I taped up the pre-drilled hole where the string is supposed to go, I did have to use a hand drill to kind of clear it out. But other than that, these all three of these ornaments turned out so cool. I love them. And with the Mod Podge, we had zero leaks, zero discoloration on any of our photos. They all sealed so well. We had no issues. I love the way that these turned out. And I will still give you guys some nice up close shots out in the natural light so you can take a good look at how these turned out.
I seriously love how these ornaments turned out and it's really cool that all I had to do was use Mod Podge to seal these photos. That's really cool to know so I can make family portrait ornaments every year if I really wanted to. Thank you guys all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and if you did then feel free to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. You could also hit that notification bell so you're notified every Friday when I upload a video. I also have an Instagram and a Facebook page if you're interested in following me on there as well. The links are down in the description box below as well as my PayPal if you'd like to contribute to the channel. I'll see you guys all for the next video. Cheers!